Teeny tiny car. Teeny tiny car. I don't think our bags would even fit in there. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're Nick and Anna, travel couple and digital nomads trying to see the whole world. This week, we're taking a brief break from Amsterdam and taking a few day trips. First, we'll be heading to the amazing city of Rotterdam, and then we'll actually be taking the train to Brussels for some fries and beer. If you enjoy our travel adventures, we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel and check out some of our other videos as well. We weren't sure if we got on the correct train because there was minimal signage when you get inside the Amsterdam station. Our train said that we were headed towards Paris and Anna was a little nervous, so we had to ask somebody to make sure. Gotcha ass. For a millisecond, and then I saw your face and you're like, tee <laughs> I no, I, I asked the lady and she was like, oh yeah, definitely. Like I was an idiot for asking him that. <laughs> Absolutely no markers, no train, anything's on there. Okay, we're on the train and we have 30 minutes until we get there. <laughs> 40 minutes on the train later, we arrived in Rotterdam station. Rotterdam is the second largest city in the Netherlands and it's just as easy to navigate as well. Walking our way out of the station, we headed to grab a bite to eat at this restaurant, Harvest. How is it? As you know, we rented bikes in Amsterdam and we obviously couldn't take them on the train with us, so we signed up for a relaxing bike tour around Rotterdam. After being in the Netherlands for a few weeks, we were just used to riding our bikes everywhere, so we figured, why not here? Here are some relaxing shots from our ride through Rotterdam. While Rotterdam is more car-oriented than Amsterdam is, in the last 20 years, it's been dramatically transitioning to be more bike-centric as its northern cousin is. In the last 10 years, the city has seen a 45% increase in the number of cyclists taking to the roads. The city plans to continue to develop and deploy more bike lanes and green spaces for people to enjoy in the coming years, increasing both the attractiveness and mobility of this wonderful city. In the last two years, Rotterdam has actually created 6,500 new parking spaces for bikes, and in the upcoming years, five to seven bike parking garages are gonna be created as well. Besides investments in infrastructure and bicycle parking, the city is also conducting cycling stimulation projects with programs for cycling classes at schools and in neighborhoods as well. We stopped for a moment at the Hotel New York for a quick break and some people watching. Get that sod, man. After we returned our bikes, we headed over to Markthal to meet up with our friend Ogel. We met on the Cinquetarian Pizza Tour in Italy. I know, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so good. Now, Markthal is a uniquely shaped residential and office building with a market hall underneath filled with different delicious food options. 
They even have their own Wi-Fi in the hall too, which I thought was pretty cool. This was the perfect place for us to stop for lunch with our friend. Babe, how excited are you for food right now? Very. Also, flaming hot Cheetos. What? Oh, yo, we gotta get the book. We gotta get that. We gotta get we'll that. Come back. We'll come back. So, why are you so excited about flaming hot Cheetos? Because I haven't had them. So, I want them. Because <laughs> I've always eaten. Yes. My mom, with well, the bag that my mom brought us. Yeah. This building is gigantic. It's actually crazy to think of that people live inside the structure. Hot dog city. It's the kind of city we want to live in, right? <laughs> what do you think of Chicago dog? Let's take a look at this thing. Hot dog with sauerkraut, sweet onions. It's definitely not a Chicago dog. Chili dogs. Right? Oh, yo. Maybe let's not go overboard here. You're gonna go overboard, aren't you? Oh, I don't like all these options. I'm seeing this one down here. Oh, God. <laughs> so now that Anna's getting her food, I am gonna get my duck burger. So let's get this thing popping. So, we got some duck burgers. We got a duck burger, kimchi. Look, I'm not gonna lie, I just like watching the food being made here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Great. <sighs> All right, babe, so walk us through what we got here. Yes. <laughs> I'm like too hungry for your sh So I got fries. Okay. Fry sauce. Okay. I got a Korean hot dog with garlic sauce. Mm. What did you get? So I got myself this nice juicy looking duck burger. I'm gonna have you hold this while I take the, my first bite into this virgin masterpiece here. <laughs> it's very fatty, but it's very good. It's good. Oh my God, it's just delicious. Every single one of these windows on the walls of Markthal is either an office or a private residence. It still blows my mind to think about living here. The next stop on our mini food tour, fresh group waffles. My, this is my face the whole process on that. <laughs> so good. Maybe wait a second so you don't burn your mouth on caramel, on hot caramel. Like, I don't care. No, that is so good. It's good. Oh, it's so warm and it's so, oh, so good. I'm gonna put this down. Give me that back. <laughs> After all of our food, it was time for some adult beverages in the sun. A short 10 minute walk away from Markthal was Rotterdam Biergarten, a great place to hang out and just chill for some summer beverages. We love this little spot of paradise in the concrete jungle that is Rotterdam. Good company, cool drinks, great music. God, cheers. Okay, we've had our beers, we've had our conversation, now it's time for some dinner. See this amazing fusion.
Chung was our last place that we stopped before we had to catch our train back to Amsterdam. It was already getting pretty late and we had big plans for the next day. Hey y'all, today we're up early because we impulsively decided we're gonna go to Brussels. So let's hit the train. Oh, also, if you can't tell, we're tired. We're on the train and neither one of us have eaten yet. It's been about two hours, but I have a secret weapon. Anna, are you hungry? Go. Thank you. Two hours later, we were in Brussels, just far enough for a day trip if you ask us. We came into this city knowing absolutely nothing about it other than they had good fries and good beer, so we were really excited to see what this place had to offer. While we didn't have a ton of time here, we were able to see much of the city's unique architecture and charm. That building is called the Goose Building. You're the Goose Building. That's pretty good. You don't normally like sweets either. Oh, this is actually really good. For everybody on our channel that subscribes, loves waffles, uh, can't recommend Belgium more. Um, it's spelled B-E-L-G-I-U-M. Ask for the waffles. <laughs> They're delicious. Can't, can't miss them. Okay, so on our way to get some Belgian fries, we stopped by this chocolatier place that was in the big gallery. So we're gonna get some fries after we get some chocolate. What do we get? A lot of them? Uh, Belgian chocolates, yeah. We'll try them later. I got a giant mixed pack. So. Okay, sweet. On to Fritkies.
Mm. I got curry ketchup. This one? Right here? No. This one? That's curry ketchup, garlic pepper, and whatever George Jeff was. It's probably good. Fry sauce. We'll leave you here for now. Hope you enjoyed our trips to Rotterdam and Brussels. We'd love it if you hit like and subscribe. Your support helps us make more videos for you. Until next time.